All right, YouTube, we're going in for round three, round four. I lost round three to a hollow one deck. So now we're back to being two and one. So hopefully turn around. I probably have to win out to top eight. I'm assuming X2 will get me some prizes, but definitely won't top eight. Raging Tilt Monster. What a funny name. Alright, let's get to it. In my experience, this guy right here is a salt mine. Alright, I will play. We're on the play suite. Oh, uh, this is it. You can't mulligan this hand, but like, it could go bad. We're gonna keep it. I'm gonna fetch shock, watery grave on one and. Do I want to Serum Visions, or do I want to hold out a Stubborn Denial? I want a Stubborn Denial something. Or, or a Stubborn Denial or a Thought Scour. Okay. Well, we're going to... I think we're going to Stub... Anything... This is a redraw that makes green mana. That can hook them up here. I think I'm just going to use this while I can. This is a mopey use of Stubborn Denial, but like I don't have a lot going on, and like just waiting for them to stub like a Karn is, is pretty weak. Yeah. All right, well, there's step one. Put on top. Put on top. So we have stubborn denial and under under stubborn denial is Snapcaster Mage. Okay. Modern All-Star Ancient Turns. The best cantrip in the format. So I'm gonna thought seize I'm gonna thought scour my opponent and then thought scour myself to draw the snap. I think I'm gonna want Snapcaster. As mopey as it is. Tap mana ancient stirrings. Fuck. Okay, ancient. I mean, I meant Sylvan Scryings last time. Ancient Stirrings. Go Ancient Stirrings before you play a land. Again, I'm gonna stub anything because I have Snapcaster coming. Curse's Tower. Oh man, let that go. Now I don't think I actually want the Snapcaster that's on top of my deck. So I think I'm going to Thought Scour myself. Um, yeah, I don't want the Snapcaster anymore. Now we just want ways to deal damage to ourselves. That's a way to deal damage at least. We hit a Battle Rage, which is a tilt. So let's get a Blood Crypt. So I can go snap battle rage just to get eight points in, but that's kind of mopey. So let's okay. Put on the bottom. I probably should put this on top as it can refill for my snapcaster in my hand. My opponent most likely has, like, a bunch of big stuff rolled up. Hopefully they don't have the mana for it. Uh, Oblivion Stone. Okay. 
My opponent's got Ostone rolled up. We know this is coming, so let's start here. That's tough. To be honest, Albino Snake, it would have to depend on what it is. You have to look at it. And if it's worth like I don't play I don't have too too much time, it'll have to depend on what the deck is. Four mana. Ballista for two. Okay. Wow, could this happen? Might work. Wait, if he shoots me, then we got him. Then if we snap Thought Scour and we find a way to do damage to ourselves, we just kill him. Oh, this is big. We definitely stole one here if we win this game. Damage? Come on, damn it. We're not playing anything else because my opponent's already dead. Wow, I can't believe we won that game. <laughs> I got awful lucky there. But we'll take it. Okay, so against Tron, I want all my counter spells and my last battle rage. Cards I don't want. Terminate gets better for Cyborg, but still not very good because it can hit Thrag Tusk. But it, it might just be better to be on the, like, kill everything plan. I definitely want to cut some number of Snapcaster Mages because they bring in Graveyard. Hey, Liliana of the Veil is probably better than Snapcaster. I think so. Um... So do I want all of my Delve cards? Like, is it worth just keeping a Lightning Bolt to be able to Bolt myself to supercharge my draw? I'm going to hedge. I'm just going to hedge a little bit against Graveyard Hate. Because my opponent's... Maybe I can even hedge more. Like, maybe I can cut, like, one more Snapcaster. Because my opponent's going to be four deep. My opponent's going to be four deep in um, Relics after Sideboard, I think. So, I think I want to hedge... And gear myself to be more explosive. And Lightning Bolt is just... I mean, it hits the front half of Thrag Tusk, which can be good. Like, it's got some merit. Hits Karn. Cut Gurmies over Taz. Do you have an ideology? Do you have a, do you have a reason behind this? Like, I think, I think the fifth power is worth the extra Delve card. I don't, like, if we can get to a point where we can start activating Tasker, I don't think it's going to matter. Well, on the draw, they shouldn't get, they're not going to be able to, get, they're not going to give me a window for that, right? On the play, I can get it down where they can just tap it and activate it. I think we're, I think, I think, I think we're going to go like this. Though, the opportunity cost of, like, the opportunity cost of one less Dell versus one less power. Cut to turn off the clock. I can I see what you're talking about, Rafi. I guess like worst case scenario here. Alright, I mean I don't think I can mulligan this hand. So let's think. They kept seven. I can disrupt them quite a bit, but I don't have a clock. If I draw a clock, this hand's very good. But I don't have a cantrip. And I don't have a clock. Can I do better on six? My gut tells me that I have to mulligan. Because I don't have a clock. And I don't think I'm going to... Like, last game was such an anomaly. I don't think I'm going to win without a clock. Crickets. 
I keep envisioning some MTG gummy bears. This is a hand that's so bad, because, like, we don't have a clock. But it's got all the kind of interaction we need. Like, if, if my top card was a Death Shadow, this hand would be nuts. Am I going to get better than six? So, like, this hand has counter magic, disruption, and a little bit of something, something in the late game. Am I going to get better than this on six? I don't think I'm going to. Though, is a hand with a Death Shadow better than this? I just don't think I'm going to win this on the draw. If I was going to play, I could hit a map. I think I'm going to mulligan. I don't think... I don't think that I can... Like, especially when they're going to have relics. Like, this has arguably a mulligan. I think I'm going to ship it. Yeah, this hand's much better. Put on the bottom. If I can hit a map, then I'd think about it. But I couldn't hit a map. Hey, Delray, how you doing? Congratulations, Delray. I hear you've graduated and moved on to the real world. So we're going to go Black, Blood Crypt, Thought Seize on one. Good, Delray. Where'd you move to? Yo, hot take, the real world is better than college. Much easier than college. I think. Like you have you have bill like you have bills and shit, but like what sucked about college was like the learn the learning is hard. Learning new things is hard. And while you do that in the workplace, you don't learn like meaningless shit that you do in college, and on top of all that you're motivated. Like I am motivated to go to work every day because A, I like what I'm doing, and B, I'm getting paid. I was never that motivated in college. Which makes everything better. I think college is way harder than the real world. That's well, so much for my fucking Gurmag angler. Alright, we're still gonna get. Maybe I should have kept that to try to overload the relic. All right, so we gotta take Sylvan Scrying, so that we don't get Tron up. My opponent's gonna top deck the Tron there. Now we all we all know what's gonna go on here. The absolute savagery that's gonna occur. There's this power plant. Tilt. I'm going to uh, Inquisition my opponent. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to, well, I could try to load, like, they're probably going to pop this. I would assume that they pop this. We're two and one so far. We're going to probably reject something. The problem is if we reject Karn, then we have to deal with the old Eugene next turn. And, like, that ain't good? Oh, nice. Okay, so, like, at what point do I just, like, say this is the hill I'm going to die on and just get this in order to get a threat into play? One, two. I think I'm going to reject this. One. One, three. I think I have to reject this. Yeah. This is good, Tron, yeah. 
Like, I think I'm going to die on this hill. Okay. Yeah. What'd you get? They put in Urza's Towers. So they, they got Tron rolled up, which is gas. So now we need to hit... I don't even know what we can hit now, to tell you the truth. We're probably just... They're, they're going to land... I, like, I can't beat Ugin. Yeah, we're just... We're dead. Yeah. We just can't... Yeah, we can't beat... We can't beat Ugin. Like, there are worlds where we beat Karn... But I don't think we can beat Ugin. All right, we're gonna keep our anglers in on the. We're, we're not gonna change anything else. I don't think. Come on. Yeah, Ugin's unbeatable. All right, yeah, we're gonna keep this. This is a hand. So I'm going to cycle my street race first because I want information. This isn't a game where I think I have to sit here and grind. We were dead, right? Like, we weren't technically dead, but, like, I don't want to play Magic anymore. Yeah. I guess you, you do have points, Rafi. So now I'm going to hold this second street raid because I might want to cycle. I might want to cycle into the second land. Give myself four looks at a second land next turn if we don't hit it. What am I doing? Hang on. This is four. No, I'm going to keep the street raid because I might need the second land. There was a chance. Yeah, okay. You're right. So this is a pretty easy stirrings. They mulligan six? Sweet. What'd they do? They put a card on the bottom? Nice. I hate ancient stirrings. Urza's Tower, Chromatic Star, or Sphere, whichever one you want to do, dude. All right, me a land, hit a land, but it's the shitty land. Put on the bottom, put on top. I have to look back at. I, I yeah, I have to look back at it, Roth. So I'm playing this, and then we're just passing. I'm going to cycle Street Wraith on my turn, and then Thought Scour myself. Or if they play something worth it here. Like, I might just, like, I might get aggressive and just, like, smoke one of these, um, like, should I just smoke this star? Their hands, Sphere, Sphere, Star. This is basically like countering a cantrip. I kind of want to just get aggressive and hit this. <clears throat> they have an O-Stone waiting. I guess we're just going to wait. There's the forest. Five cards. Chromatic Sphere. Okay. I just, I just love being aggressive with counter spells, especially after sideboard. God, see, I fucking hate Steam Vents so much. Okay, so let's get rid of... Okay, our Swamp's gone, which is good to note. We're going to keep one Street Wraith. We're going to keep our Stub. Inquisition. Inquisition's probably not going to matter anymore, because they're just going to cast everything they can. Let's get rid of that. And then 
We have plenty of cantrips, so let's get rid of Searing Visions. I want to keep Street Wraith in because it's a way to, like, if I ever draw K Command and you deal damage to myself, I can just return it to my hand. I think this is worth rejecting. Because if they have Tron, we at least can, like, Thought Seize this turn. I'm going to do this first. And the problem is, do I Thought Seize? Or do I just play Tassier? I probably just play Tassier. I'll just crack in here. Because they out of their four cards, they would need third Tron piece plus big mana thing. And this plays around Karn better. Yeah, I think we're just gonna like we're just gonna put the pedal to the metal here. Our watery grave's gone. I'm gonna keep this ceremonious rejection in my graveyard. This makes battle rage lethal. Okay. I mean, if we get Ugand here, then, like, we get Ugand. If we get Karned, we're in Quarantine. That's tough. Okay. Uh, I have to look back at that. I probably should have. Okay, so let me think. How do I win? What am I looking for? I'm looking for Death Shadow. Because Death Shadow can beat Worm Coil. Fuck. Let me do this first. All right, K commands a start. So I'm going to put this on the bottom, I'm going to put this on top. Here we get dismembered here. Warping wheel, okay. Alright, we're going to pass. I'll take a shot from this. And this is why, I, I mean... Like, I think Tron's probably the best deck in the format. Like, like, random, like, just because it, oh, God. So I guess if he puts a fake counter on it, I go shock discard. And then Liliana. It's probably how I start to slog through this thing. And then neither of us is anything. I think humans is better. Yeah, it, I mean, I think right now, I think right now this is the best one here. You'd have gone shock discard, Rafi. Is that what you would have done there? You're on Shock Shatter. What do we get? What do they discard? They discard Eugene. Nice. They didn't just jam Eugene. That seems... That Ghost Quarter is not a bad draw. Oh, shit. Damn it. I fucked up. I should have fetched. Damn it. Oh man, I just wasn't thinking. I should have thought. Oh, son of a bitch. Because now I'm at, because I, I just literally said halfway through the game, it's like we milled over our swamp. Now I don't have a black source. 
Yeah, I'm in trouble now. Yeah, I got the wrong land. Yeah, I have three watery graves though, so I had another black source. I don't really think I can win. It's not gonna block. All right, get out of here. If I double block, then I get he gets two tokens, right? He gets two tokens and kills both my things because he only has to sign lethal damage. Yeah. I don't have any outs. Battle rages and do it. Yeah. Tron's very good. Now yeah, we'll just play uh, play it out, I guess. Oh, tilt. How do I win? Uh, not thought seizing on that turn probably cost me. Well, what are you going to do? Like, I just fucked up. All right. That's tough. All right, let's go check out our sweet storm deck. Here. This will be fun. We're just going to, like, this is probably, this is not going to get played well. Oh, I'll start my...